Hedrick City tonight to try and take a bite out of the big bad Minot Majets. But the home team wasn't playing around this evening. On to the pitch we go. Let's see how this one went. Minot versus Legacy. So you've heard of Bend It Like Beckham, but what about Bend It Like, em like, like Emerson Perrin? Emerson Perrin is going to get a really nice goal here on a left-footed strike into the top left corner. Now, Legacy is looking for an equalizer. They're going to get a tackle into the attacking third. Ella Jones hits it a long way, but Kinsley Gilmore is looking for back-to-back -back clean sheets, and she's going to get them. Minot is going to win this one 5-0. And over we go to Dickinson State for some softball action. Bottom of the first, two runners on base. McKenna Medina sends a fly ball over Watford City center fielder's head. Gabby Subalik and Kendall Peterson are going to score. Midget's up 2-0. Bottom of the second now. Emily Saylor, grand slam. Dickinson, 7 to nothing. Now here we go. Madison Weg Leitner. She's going to send a grounder up the middle that's going to bring in Medina and Madeline Brent across. Midgets are going to tally 14 runs in the second inning. They're going to win this one 25 to nothing. Now we go back to Minot. Second game of a doubleheader. Taylor Falcon hits one into center field. Outfielder can't corral it. Falcon's going to go for second. Here comes the throw. Falcon is going to be safe at second. In on the slide later in the inning. Falcons on third now. High bunt into the infield is not going to be brought down. Falcons going to run home and she's safe again. Majets build on their lead in the third. Legacy is going to try to end this inning here and they're going to. Great catch by Catherine Lemoyne, but Legacy is not going to win this one. Minot again wins five to nothing. That's a very familiar looking score, isn't it? Speaking of scores, yes, Minot had a pretty good day on the softball diamond. Game one, they won 15 to four and five nothing in game two. Willison took down Century 16 to four in game one of their doubleheader, 16 to six in game two. And in baseball, the Coyotes were road warriors, 3-1 for Wilson in game one and 13-1 in game two. And add the baseball team to the list of Minot teams that had a good night, 14-4 and 3-2 wins for the Magi on the Diamond. Blue Jays and Patriots split their game, 7-6 for Jamestown in game one, 10-5 century in game two. KFYR's JT Faribault has been cooking up something good for us. Here's a preview of this week's Sports Spotlight on national champion curler, Ella Fleming. Yeah, so this year we had a new team. We This is our only season that we've